Hello everyone, myself Dr. Trisha Roy Chaudhary. I have secured a rank of 3700 in the recently conducted NEET PG May 2022. I have done my MBBS from Bakura Shamulani Medical College. I had started preparing for uh, NEET PG after my internship and had completed my first revision by 26th August, after which I started my second revision, which was basically system wise because I knew that um, an integrated uh, study of the clinical subjects is very important to crack NEET PG as well as the Central Institute's exams. So while I was in the midst of my second revision, I um, gave a November I-9 in which I secured a rank of 11,000 with a 78 percentile. That was a very big boost to me uh, because I had uh, done very uh, poorly in my uh, July INICT wherein I had secured a rank of 40,000. So this was a big boost to me because for us. And uh, the thing with um, INI is uh, I not only solved the 10 years, but there are so many aspects of my revision which I want to share with you all so that uh, it will help you while cracking the Central Institute exams. So I had come to know about pre-PG pretty late and uh, that's why I think I should have known about it a bit earlier so I could have made use much of that app. So I came to know about pre-PG when I was doing my third revision around uh, December after the November I and I got over. So after my disastrous result in July 2021, I had uh, done around two revisions and had sat for the November I and I, which did not go uh, well as planned. And I was thinking I might be getting around again 20,000 or something or worse 30,000. Uh, my result came as 11,000 and that I was like, okay, so I have the questions also were of a new type. I mean, they were not repetitive. The only thing, the the thing good about pre-PG is that the questions are very new. From the old topics, you get to see new type of questions. And when you solve them and get them correct, it's a different kind of happiness altogether. Because the only thing which motivates you are the good marks and the good ranks. So... I used to make use of these uh, features on pre-PG and I used to see my progress reports. The rising curve made me feel that yes, I was going in the right direction. I used to give GTs every um, 14 days once I completed my first revision. My initial GT scores were not that good and uh, but I never lost hope because I knew I would be able to do better and I always uh, made it a point to bounce back higher. Uh, by uh, January I was giving GTs every seven days or so I was revising my notes and uh, practicing MCQs and uh, I owe a lot to pre-PG because it has helped me overcome my fear of the short subjects in which I was very very poor in and I knew I had to make them my um, strong points because in need PG every question is equally important a question from psychiatry is equally important as a question from medicine so it is a point to overcome your fears and make your weak subjects your stronger subjects as well. So I also uh, loved the image-based questions in pre-PG. They closely simulated the real images from NEET PG 2022 and solving them also um, invoked my thought process as well. And whenever I saw a new MCQ, I always knew which other highlighted points I had to look for and this is where pre-PG played its role a lot. Then coming to the last 10 days before need PG, well I had um, stuck a page in my study room where it had uh, 20 volatile topics uh, for uh, where I used to forget a lot. So these 20 volatile topics, I made it up on to revise it every day so that they were no longer volatile like for example the classification, the scoring systems, COVID, the blood grouping and all that and I had a separate notebook for um, scoring and classifications which I wrote them myself personally so that um, I so that in one single notebook I could revise all the scoring systems and classification. I had a similar notebook for COVID as well so it's very important to uh, put everything in one place so that your revision becomes a bit easier. 
compilation is very important for exams like these in the last 10 days i made a thorough revision of all the 19 subjects and went through the previous year topics and the last two days before NEET PG, I revised the previous year topics. Also went through the questions in pre-PG which I was getting wrong and made sure I knew the correct answer. Uh, went through the image-based questions and lastly the scoring systems and classification notebook. I think uh, going through the, going through them in the last day before your NEET PG is very important. The scoring systems, classification, and the FSM. IPCs and the image based questions. Please go through them on the last day before your need PG because these things are highly volatile. No matter how many times you revise them, you are bound to get them wrong. So this was my strategy and on the day of the need PG, it was a tough, a moderate to tough exam according to me and after giving my exam, I was confident I would be able to get a good rank which reflected in my results thankfully. And hopefully I will be able to pursue my dream branch, pediatrics, with this rank. And hopefully this video helps everyone who is watching this. Thank you.